set the scene for us. Bad Moms Christmas, what can we expect? Set it up for us. You know what I will say, it's a little different than the first one. The three of us, independently, go against the um, ideals of perfection of the holiday season. I think it, it grounds it and, and shows the pressure that mothers put on themselves to make Christmas magical. I feel like a giant stress bump from like November to New Year's. There are a lot of moms like me who can relate. This yeah. whole notion that Christmas is supposed to be perfect. And we just want people to relate. It's like everyone feels more comfortable when they're seen and when they're like, oh, that's what I do. You're just like me. I'm not alone. Like, that's the whole point, to let people know, no, yeah. we're not all islands. We're one big continent. I spent months picking out the perfect present for everyone. I get coupons for free back rubs. That's not OK. I wanted to mention about the husbands. In real life, do you find that your husbands are good partners or that you have people who to help? Or yeah, what I would have you the say? most incredible husband on the, on the planet. Oh my God, we're really yeah. lucky in that department. It's not just that we got lucky. It's not like we got the three men on the planet who like want to do housework. It's also that I think we what? understand <laughs> that you, if you want something from your partner, you yes. gotta say it. Stand up and right. say, guys, serious too much right pressure now. on me. I need some help. Did you guys have, do you have any holiday memories or was it crazy in your homes I growing up? I blocked it all out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have one holiday. No, I do remember my brother, I remember specifically my brother getting my mom a half-used bottle of juice, <laughs> hair mousse, and wrapping it up. No, you like, don't. Thank you. It's Where's the other half? And I got my dad a six pack of Snickers one year. Adding another layer to the sequel's holiday mayhem. Hi, Mom. Where's your tree? Meeting the bad mom's mom. I guess I should have been a little busy. No, clearly not. It's Jim. Woof. Played by Christine Baranski, Susan Sarandon, and Cheryl Hines. My mom is played by Christine Baranski. I am really fortunate and really blessed to have a mother who I actually want to hang out with in the movie. and. We were like, when this is done, we're just gonna go and act like a drink and, and chit chat because she's just so rad. Wait, in so real awesome. life or the movie? In in real life. Oh, well, that's cool. She's hung out with me while I pumped. I mean, we literally could not get any closer at this point. Mom? <laughs> the veteran actresses jumped at the chance to be part of a female driven comedy. I was just so impressed with the cast. I thought it would be really fun to work with all these women. You don't get a chance. Usually they you know, dole us out maybe one per film, and this was all so many women yeah. and really talented, funny women. They did such, such a great job on Bad Moms, which made me laugh, LOL, it made me laugh out loud. And talk about the chemistry you guys have. We just watched some of your takes. Yeah, you get actresses together and bounce off each other, and you know, it's like a playground, this movie. Hey! Yeah! Can you relate to your character in any way? Oh, God, I hope not. I'm here to see my daughter on Easter. Christmas. Christmas. I've never been really drunk and high at Christmas, so that I don't <laughs> relate to. I might try it in the future. Now my kids are older. It might be the way to go. Just because so. you have kids doesn't mean, you know, all of a sudden you become this nerd. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It doesn't mean you're not dirty anymore. It's because you have kids. <laughs>